Good morning to the burning ones, to those who are offering themselves up on the altar to be joined with Christ, upon the brazen altar where we're offered up as a burnt sacrifice to the Father, where all flesh is consumed and all that remains is the Holy Seed. Before I head into work, I want to release a quick revelation that the Holy Spirit was giving to me in the, in the shower this morning. Um, and it's in regards to Isaiah chapter 6. Um, I've done a little bit of teaching on this, um, but the Holy Spirit took me back there this morning. In Isaiah chapter 6, of course, it says, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Uh, and this King Uzziah, of course, was a king of Judah who, in his pride and arrogance, went unlawfully into the holy place, bearing a censer with incense. And there, in the holy place, he was struck with leprosy. See, this incense that he was bearing speaks of the prayers offered up in the flesh, which are unacceptable to the Father. Only prayers that are offered up in the Christ identity and in, in the pursuance of, of that are acceptable unto him. Those that are offered up out of the flesh are not acceptable. And so this is why he was struck with leprosy. What is leprosy? It is a flesh eating disease. A flesh eating disease to eat up the flesh so that all that remains is the true identity. And this is the King Uzziah that must die before Christ appears in our hearts. It is this pride, this arrogance of the old man that stands in an identity apart from Christ. And this, these vestiges of the old man must be consumed by fire. They must be consumed before the King of Glory once again appears in the heart. And I'll speak more to this later. Uh, the Lord continues to develop this revelation in me. Um, but essentially, the Lord Jesus Christ, his face, the King of Glory, <laughs> was in Adam. And he, this, the crown of glory and honor comes in the beholding of Christ's face in your heart. Beholding him in your heart. David speaks of this in 1 Chronicles chapter 16, verse 27. It says that glory and honor are in his presence, but that's the Hebrew word panim. Glory and honor are in his face. The crown and glory and honor are in the beholding of Christ's face in the heart. And I'll, I'll release a teaching on this that goes deeper into this, um, but what currently resides in the heart is still vestiges of our identity in the old man this pride and this is what Ezekiel chapter 8 speaks of the seat of the image of jealousy that provokes to jealousy the Lord is provoked to jealousy because there is an Im image standing in the very inner part of our heart which is not him he is the one who is to be beheld there and so this pride must be broken. This pride, this flesh of the old man must be consumed. And so this King Uzziah represents that pride of the old man. And he was smote by leprosy. And that speaks of the consuming of the flesh. So in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne high and lifted up and this of course is in the tabernacle of David which is in the heart of man 
as Isaiah 16, 5 says, in mercy the throne is established, and he shall sit upon it in truth in the tabernacle of David. See, as it says in Psalm 51, the Lord desires truth in the inward parts. It's talking about the very innermost chamber of your heart, that that truth is to be written there by the Holy Spirit so that once again we come into our identity in Christ and the image appears there once again. The face of Christ that we are to behold continually, our true identity. In mercy, the throne is established. See, it's in this mercy, in the mercy that was offered up by Christ at the brazen altar, at the cross, Hmm. where he offered himself not up only as a sin offering, but as a burnt offering. And this burnt offering was as, as all of mankind was placed upon him, the flesh, the, the identity of that old man. And then that was burnt up and ascended a sweet-smelling savor to the Lord. What is that sweet-smelling savor? Burnt flesh. So that we would return back to our true identity. The burning up of the old man at the cross so that we would rise up in newness of life. And so Isaiah chapter 6, In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. And so I want to go to one other place here in Isaiah. Um, and that is where um, Isaiah says, you know, here I am, Lord, send me. And the Lord said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. See ye indeed, perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat. Um, and so the inability to hear and perceive what the Lord is doing it's speaking about identity and what has to happen to come into this identity is is this pride must be destroyed and um, and so the Lord speaks to Isaiah that there is going to be a great forsaking in the land um, and that's God's people being taken out of the promised land um, and a judgment upon them for rejecting Messiah, but which is their true identity. But in that it says, but after that forsaking it says, but in it shall be a tenth. This is the remnant. But in it shall be a tenth and it shall return and be eaten. That word and be eaten, if you look about in the Hebrew, the usage of that word almost always, it's, it's in regards to being consumed by fire. And this is the consuming of the flesh. This is the consuming of the old man identity. But yet in it shall be a tenth and it shall return and be eaten. As the teal tree and the oak, whose substance is in themselves, when they cast their leaves, so the holy seed shall be the substance thereof. See that all that remains is that holy seed, the Christ identity, when the flesh is consumed. And this is what David speaks about in Psalm 118, bind God is the Lord who has shown us light. What is that light? It's the revelation of Christ. This is who I really am. God is the Lord who has shown us light. Bind the sacrifice with cords under the horns of the altar. This is being joined to Christ as we are joined to him at the altar, joyfully offering ourselves up that old man, that old identity, Bind the sacrifice with cords under the horns of the altar. 
Thou art my God, I will praise thee. Thou art my God, I will exalt thee. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Much more to come on this, but just wanted to release uh, just a tidbit of that, this. God bless y'all.